Hi, Wendy here again. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resize your book cards from your Modern Heritage CD or from your Modern Heritage Interactive Downloads. Okay, I've opened up a new Office document. I'm going to go to Insert, Picture, from File. Um, I've already located the folder on the CD that contains the book cards and I'm going to click on page one, press open. And now I'm going to make this smaller. And all you do, and you can you can choose what size you want to make this. It's entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to click on the right side of my mouse, position and size, and I'm just going to change the width here, and I'm going to change that to uh, 15 centimeters. You don't do anything with the height. What you do do though is you make sure that the keep ratio is ticked. Uh, I've been having a little practice before I started this tutorial, and I clicked it. I think it defaults to open with it being unclicked. So you have to make sure that you, you do actually put a tick there and you press OK and you can see that the book page has gone smaller. I'll go and get page two. So click in white space, insert picture from file. Here's page two, press open and I'm going to click on my right side of my mouse, position and size. And again, I'm going to change the width to 15 centimeters. Keep ratio is ticked, press OK. And you can see that it's now uh, been made smaller and you do this with all the pages no matter how many you want as long as you keep that width to the same size I'm just going to cut these away and I'm going to show you that you do the same with your interactive insert for the word books book card sorry picture from file here's the interactive book card inserts press open I'll choose number three press open right mouse position and size and again change the width to 15 centimeters make sure keep ratio is ticked press ok now when I come to make these books what I do uh, for the inserts is there are two inserts here there's one here and one here there's a white line that goes right through the middle for you to um, cut and it depends on whether I want this oval to be to the right side of the book you know at the open side or whether I want to keep it central if I want to keep it central, then I trim the same amount from both from the left and the right. If I want to have this oval more to the open side of the book, then I simply trim on only the right side here. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'll see you again soon. Bye.